Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation and mobility specialist, and today I will be demonstrating how to walk in step while using a white cane. Let's get to it. So before I start my video demonstration here, I just wanna preface this video by saying that this video is really meant to be a review of walking in step with a white cane. It is not meant to replace meeting with an orientation and mobility specialist. Uh, this skill is really important for safety, so you really want someone who could assess how you're doing this skill just to make sure you're doing it properly. So walking in step with a white cane is a really important mobility skill, especially for safety. It gives the person using the cane more time to react to an object within the environment or a drop off. And uh, this will be a little more clear when I do my demonstration. I'll give you some examples and show you uh, what in step looks like and how it works. Um, but one thing I just want to mention that ultimately walking in step with a white cane is your furthest foot in front of you is opposite of the cane tip. So if your cane tip is on the right side of your body, your left foot should be the furthest foot in front of you and vice versa. So if the cane tip is on the left side, your right foot should be the furthest foot in front of you. And this will be more clear when I start my demonstration. So in my experience, walking in step is one of the harder skills to learn in orientation mobility. It just takes a lot of practice and a little getting used to, but once you spend the time to learn it, eventually it'll become second nature and you won't have to think about it so much. But even as an instructor, when I was in school learning how to walk in step with the white cane, I even struggled putting it all together. So hopefully that's a little bit of an encouragement for you that it might not come right away, but with some practice, it will become second nature for you. Okay, and then my final thing before I go out and give you a demonstration here is that it's important to build up some fundamental skills before working on moving in step with the white cane. And those include arm, wrist, and hand position of where you're holding the cane, as well as how wide your arc length is or how wide you are sweeping your cane left and right. All right, let's get to the demonstration now. All right, now it's time for my demonstration. And one last thing I wanna mention is that walking in step can be done either using two point touch or constant contact. Uh, and in my experience, two point touch, it's a little more critical to walk in step, but even with constant contact, it's definitely recommended to still walk in step if you can. So let's do it. All right, so when learning or practicing to walk in step, the first thing you wanna do is get in a good starting position. Uh, the starting position you're gonna be using uh, really every time you start to move or walk in step. So for me, I have the cane here in my right hand. It's extended out in front of me with the cane tip to the left side of my body or at 11 o'clock. And that's a good starting position for me. It just feels uh, more natural. So it's good figuring out which uh, position works best for you and feels best. And then, to practice walking in step, the first thing I'm gonna do is sweep my cane to the right side of my body while stepping forward with my left foot. And I like to practice this by just uh, doing this little half step here without actually moving completely forward, just doing a little half step and practicing sweeping the cane right and stepping forward with my left foot. And then once you start to feel more comfortable with that, you can add on the other foot and sweeping the other direction. So when you sweep right, you could step forward with your left foot and then sweep left, step forward with your right foot. And even just practicing a couple steps like that uh, can be a good way of just kind of getting this uh, skill down. So practicing and then more and more you can extend and go a little bit further. So the more and more you do this, the more comfortable it'll feel and just really become second nature. And it's helpful when practicing to practice in a nice controlled environment uh, where you're not worried about other obstacles or things uh, that can distract you from practicing walking in step. And finally, here's a full body clip of me walking in step using two point touch in a controlled driveway environment. I'm making sure to have the cane tap the alternate side of my furthest foot in front of me. So when my cane tip is sweeping to the right, my left foot is going forward. And when my cane tip is sweeping to the left, my right foot should be going forward. And this is just a little clip here of this in action, both um, front and back view as well as side view. So that's how you walk in step with the white cane. I just want to mention again that this does take some practice and it will take some time to really develop this skill, but it's definitely worth the investment, especially for safety. Uh, that way you have some more warning time when you come across an object or a drop off. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful. And if you're feeling up for it, please subscribe to my channel here. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll be alerted when new videos come out. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.